Stateflow is a graphical programming environment for the design and development of hierarchical state machines, also called as state charts. Today, I'm going to talk about an exciting new functionality shipping since release 2019A. You can now create standalone state charts directly in MATLAB and execute them as MATLAB objects. To create a Stateflow chart in MATLAB, we can use the edit command. This command creates a new state flow diagram. We call it mylogic. Let's create a simple state chart with two states, on and off. Off, and a second state called on. And let's create a couple of transitions going between them. And the transitions can be triggered either by conditions or events. In this case, let's choose to create a couple of input events. And let's call them off and on. So if a chart receives on event, we want the state to go from off to on and vice versa if we receive the off event. At this point, let's save the chart. Now this chart is unit testable in MATLAB as a MATLAB object. So I can instantiate, I can create an instance of this chart using this command. Notice that the input events off and on show up as methods on the object. So I can do on of logic h, which takes me to on state, and off will take me back to the off state. Since the chart is open, you can see the animation between the states. Let's try to create a simple graphical user interface using App Designer and see how state flow can be used to model the logic behind it. Let's open up App Designer create a blank application and what I want to do here now is to create a lamp widget and a switch widget and using the switch I want to control the lamp let's resize it so it looks a little bit pretty So at this point, what we need to do is to create a bi-directional connectivity between the app and the state chart. So we will do a couple of things. Let's go to the state chart. Let's add a data, a local data. We'll call it app. Let's save it. Let's come back to the app, go to the code view. Let's add a property local property let's call it lamp logic and let's add a couple of callbacks a startup function which executes at the beginning of the apps execution and anytime the switch value changes we want to listen to it and trigger an event and let's create a value changed callback so at this point, we are ready to create a bi-directional connectivity between the app and the chart. And the way to do that would be we add a line that looks like this to the startup function. So what this line is doing is really important. My logic is uh, instantiated and we return an instance of the chart object which is saved into this property in the app. Notice that uh, it, like, you know, unlike the previous case we are we are passing in name value pairs here. <clears throat> what this is doing is as part of the constructor for this object we are also telling the chart to take this the app which happens to be the handle to the app and assign it to a local data named app in the chart. Okay, 
So at the end of executing this line, the app has a pointer to my logic, and my logic has a pointer back to the app. Next, anytime the switch value changes, we want to trigger an input event onto the chart. So this is accomplished by looking at the value of the switch, and if it is off, we call the off event. If it's on, we call the on event. So now let's save this as lamp GUI. But we are not done yet. What we need to do is it just changes the states, but when the state charge goes between off and on, we actually want to turn the lamp on and off. And that is accomplished by the following statement. Notice that we already have a data called app. So app.lamp dot enable equals off. This line is accessing the lamp widget on the app and setting its enable property to off. And let's do the corresponding action in the on state where we set it to on. So at this point we have the app designer logic that actually says go as you go between off and on it turns the lamp on and off. Let's save it and run it and see what happens. So as I turn on the switch, off to on, on to off, the lamp turns on and turns off. This is a really simple example, but you can design a lot more complicated graphical user interfaces using this technique. Let me show you a shipping example with Stateflow that shows a more complicated lamp example. So not only do we have a lamp, this one has a few more interesting features. So I can turn the lamp on, it could be solidly on or it could be blinking. So notice that the blinking state is implemented using the temporal logic construct that goes between off and on. The temporal logic construct is quite powerful in that it automatically creates and manages a MATLAB timer behind the scenes. So this enables you to do timing logic without writing any code whatsoever. And in order to see uh, and what is behind this mapping, I'm going to open it up and look at the code view. Notice that the lamp logic, uh, the first line in the startup function looks almost like pretty much identical and we still have the switch value changed, mode button changed, these are the change callbacks and anytime the delay changes we update the, the delay property on the object from the value in the app. So this illustrates how you can build really complicated and complex user interfaces using App Designer, but without writing any hand code, you can implement the logic for them using Stateflow. Thank you.